So I've got good news and I've got bad news. The bad news is there's no Nays Retro Lounge tonight. The good news is there is still a stream. And in the best three-peat since the Lakers in the 2000s, we're back once again for our third consecutive hot race car night on Dirt Rally 2.0. I'm not sure if I love myself or hate myself. Third straight night streaming this game. Oh. Oh boy. Oh me, oh my. <laughs> it is good to be back again. Hello everyone. I'm being a little bit, uh, well, trying not to shout too much. Yeah, I can't claim that reference to the Lakers, by the way. Jason put that in a tweet. <laughs> Jason's obviously in chat already because he is the absolute MVP of Armbar Arcade. Like, this guy spends more time on Armbar Arcade than me and Nay do sometimes. And we're the people actually in Armbar Arcade. What is this madness? Anyway. Brief recap of the last few nights of the streams. Night one. First time I'd ever played this game. And uh, first hour, I really hated it because the steering settings were a bit off. Finally found out what was going on. The uh, steering saturation was way, way up. Tweaked that and then it became amazing. Like literally, I have not gone from hating to loving a game so quickly in my life. It was the fastest 180 you will ever see outside of BBC politics. Um... And then the second night, last night, uh, was more... Well, I called the VOD Yeet or Be Yeeted. It's kind of the theme of the stream. We uh, decimated all comers in the Rally Championship to win our first title there. And we decimated everyone in the Rallycross Championship, including poor Chris's mom, to uh, win the Rallycross Championship as well. And then at the end of last night's stream, we bought new cars, which I wasn't expecting to try out, uh, until next week, which is when I was planning to next stream. But, uh, yeah, Nay is feeling a bit under the weather tonight. Uh, work's been pretty heavy. So, when I asked him what he was going to be streaming tonight, at the end of last night's stream, he was like, eh, might not be. And somebody straight away went, third night of Dirt Rally? And I was like, at the time, I was like, let me see how I'm feeling. And I woke up this morning, I was like, yeah, I'm feeling good, let's do it. So. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Hello, Chato. Chatto is lively once again. I love you lot. Jason's here. Super Mike's here. I'm currently feeling ill, so this should cheer me up. I seem to have sinus plague. Oh, I can sympathise. My sinuses haven't worked in about 10 years. <laughs> I'm mostly, I'm almost constantly using nasal spray. They're like, you know you're not supposed to use this like for more than two days. I'm like, yeah, well, I'd rather that than not being able to sleep. Oh, Grinx is here. Hello. We're getting the game at work, and I sent an application for us to get a steering wheel for work as well. Excellent. Excellent call. Yeah, this game is is really hardcore for... Uh, it's best to enjoy it on a wheel. I haven't tried it with a pad yet, and I want to. Because I will always maintain, no matter how hardcore a sim racing game you are, if you're on consoles, you should be playable on a pad. So, I, I want to try that out at some point. British Pokemon 27's here. Hello. Preston's here. Jason. Well, I've already mentioned Jason. Uh, Chris... <laughs> Diego Flynn's here. My mum says she's coming for revenge. Alright, bring it. Let's go. Uh, ALP's here as well. And I think Y-Man said he might be here as well at some point. So, yes, at the end of last night's stream, <clears throat> we bought new cars. One new rally car and one new rallycross car. So, sticking with the Lancia theme. People were, uh, <clears throat> asking about, uh, Group B. I will try and buy a Group B car as my next one. For now, I've gone for Group A, which is the era I grew up watching in the first place. And, um, I've gone for this. Sticking with the Lancia theme, gone for a Lancia Delta Integrale. And I've just realised I've I've done goofed because I've spent all my money on various things and forgotten that these cars are used. Oh, actually, this one's new. That's a, that's a feature for this game, by the way. You can buy new and used cars. The Lancia was used, and it kind of needs some repairs, um, which which I can't afford. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Anyway, so we're going to do our first rally in a broken Lancia. But hopefully it'll be amazing. And then our new Rallycross boy is this. Very bright and colourful Subaru Impreza WRX STI RX. I basically picked it because I barely ever see Subaru Imprezas in Rallycross these days. It's all Ford Fiestas and VW Polos and stuff. So I was like, huh, let's go. Um, 
Oh, Jason has a good name for the Lancia. Since it's a Repsol boy, there's only one option. Nikki as a tribute to Nikki Hayden. Yep, I'm fine with that. So, Nikki, welcome to the garage. What about a name for our Superboy? Rally X to pay for the repairs. I'm not a bad shout. Not a bad shout. Although I am tempted just to go fuck it and dive straight into a rally in our potentially broken Lancia. <laughs> But we probably should do a Rallycross event first to pay for the repairs on the Lancia. That's sensible. Just spent eight hours of watching live streams. Oh, wow. What live streams have they been? Cosine, Godspeed. Yes. Godspeed, Nikki. Yes, I'm more than happy with that. I will also feel a bit of a weird reverence because I'm like, I now really don't want to crash. Um, I really don't want to crash this car now. Uh, I noticed in the early footage builds that water was really shiny and reflective. That is fixed now, right? Is um, I'm not sure. It was pretty reflect shiny yesterday, especially when the sun glinted on it. But it wasn't an issue for me. So, um, your mileage may vary. We'll keep an eye on it tonight, shall we say? Yeah, let's keep an eye on it tonight, and we'll see. Um, you can you can say if it's different from the early footage or not. But like I say, it's not been an issue for me so far. So we also upgraded. Well, we mostly upgraded Phil Mills last night, our co-driver. We've upgraded his um, wheel replacement ability, which is quite good. Means that he reduces the penalty received when re replacing a wheel on track after a puncture. Given that my very first stage in this game involved a puncture about a third of the way through a really long stage. <laughs> Logistics knowledge, also that as well. Re reduces the penalty received when resetting your vehicle back on track. Definitely need that. We've also given some upgrade points to A. Dmitriev, our um, chief engineer. Uh, none for... A Davil uh, Davilo, yep. Yeah. Um, and we need a lot of money for another engineer, so pff, we don't need one yet. Subaru equals Iceberg because it's blue, and a pun on Solberg. I don't... Yeah, I could see that. Um, Mirror for the name of the Subaru for late Subaru driver Dave Mira. Oh, I don't mind... Yeah, I don't mind that. I think we'll stick with Nikki for the Lancia, yeah, but keep the applications coming for Subaru names. I, I, I already feel too, like, nervous driving the Lancia because I don't want to crash it too much. Because of... I'm like, no, this is... We're, we're doing this for Nikki. I don't want to do that in a Rallycross car as well, given how much sendage I do in Rallycross. Right. Should we start a new Rallycross championship in our as-yet-unnamed Subaru? I think we fucking should. So we can pick whatever we want, and the game will just be like, fine, this, cha this class, this championship now has these cars as the cars. So this is a full-on Rallycross supercar. I like the fact... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Dirt Rally is much more freeform. You can just buy whatever cars you afford and you go straight into championships for them. That's quite nice. Um, I don't like the sort of games where it's like, now you have to drive this car and now this car and now this car. Even games like Toka Race Driver, normally you had like tiers. It was like, okay, this tier, you can drive either this championship, this championship, or this championship. So you had some options. You'd kind of go through different passages. Right. Should we get down to it? I think we should. Um... Upgrades. Pfft. Oh, there's more um there's more things we can unlock. And I don't have the money for any of it. So let's go about changing that, shall we? Let's go. And I believe this will be our first time racing at Montalegre in this game. Montalegre was in uh Dirt 4. And it's a really fun track, actually. The Subaru is in a Volvo Polestar livery, so Polestar. <laughs> I don't mind that. I just need something. These names are good, but they're not. I don't know, they're not sticky. Oh, nice. The Subaru reminds me of Alonso's Renault. Nando. Perry Perry. Are we going to end up calling this the Cheeky Nandos? The Cheeky Nandos Impreza. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's a helicopter. Is that a police helicopter? Is this actually a stolen car that we bought? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Chris, do you actually like anything? Is there anything you actually like? <laughs> I've got a friend who's part Portuguese, so he'll like this track. I see. Cheeky Nando's. It's now called Willy. <laughs> it's now called Will. Oh, no. Does that mean it's going to flip? Yeah, no, I think... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Will. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's called Will. It's an Ikea brew. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you. We actually signed a sponsorship deal with Ikea. Right. Well, we can't do any upgrades or tuning. Yes. Advantage. You only need to take it once. If you miss it, you'll get a Yes. Okay, Neil. Fine. Whatever. 
Do you remember that time we randomly had a Polish coat, uh, Polish spotter for the banter? Oh, hang on. Yes! Chris's mom made the jump up. Okay. If for some reason you weren't here in the last few streams, um, <clears throat> it stopped, we started a running joke that um, M. Holmgren, who I think you can just see is starting position one in race B, uh, we started a running joke that that was actually Chris's mom because Chris randomly in Chateau, CF Diego 8, was randomly like, hey, it's my mom. And we were like, what? And he was like, oh, I saw a Volkswagen Polo. That's what my mum drives. So we were like, all right, it's Chris's mom. And so we we absolutely defeated. We trashed. Um, well, it was it was a it was a bit of a one sided rivalry, but it was we had some good battles in the club and championship. Uh, no, this is the club and championship. What the open championship, whatever. Um, and except in the very final race, uh, she crashed within the first three corners, and that was it. Um, but not only has. Uh, M. Holmgren, a.k.a. Chris's mom, made the jump up. She's actually driving the same car as us. Chris, we're on the same team. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm teammates with your mom. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Former rivals now on the same team. Let's do this. There's some colourful cars in this first heat. What the? Oh. Don't let the car creep on the line. You don't want to trigger the... Oh my God, is that a Force India car next to us? Sorry, Racing Point. That's a Racing Point car right next to us. Please, Sergio Perez is going to be cameoing. Oh, oh, that's a raspy noise. Speaking of noise, it's about time we bring it, don't you? Oh, ah! I'm in a sandwich. I didn't want to be. Help! Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus! Well, completely by accident. I've taken the joke already. Oh, my... Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's been a while since I've driven World Rally Cross supercars. For context, they all have four-wheel drive and 600 horsepower. My little Corsa boy had 220 horsepower and front-wheel drive. So it's a bit like going from a uh, biplane to a Tornado fighter jet. Ow. And as you can see, I'm not doing very well at that. Yeah, Neil, I'm trying, mate. Why don't you get down here and drive this absolute monster of a car? Oh, here we go. Everyone's joking. Right, that's cool. All right, it's time to get to work. Oh, in Will. All right, all right, Will. Let's get to work. No, no. What's that? What's that? I see you tweeting, Will. No, no. Put Twitter down. We need to get to work. Yeah, this track is fun, but this... Oh, my God. This final chicane section is not. I'll send it. I'll first ye to the video. Oh, excuse me. Oi. You get... The right, that is it. How many laps we got? Oh, we got a lap and a half to go. Oh, dip, dip, you blithering idiots. Get out of my way. I've just walled him. Oh, God. There we go. Drifty. Oh, yeah, the Eurobeat is intensifying now. Right. Oops! <laughs> Bollards. Literally. These, these corners are so hard to get right. If you screw up the first one, it's one of those sequences where if you screw up the first of the corners, you're buggered for about the next 20 corners. There we go, sideways across the line. Game audio is a bit quiet. Playing running in the 90s. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring it up a little bit. Uh, let me know how this is. The cat you follow does not exist until it has a match to plug. Yes, the story of Williams' Twitter. Anyway, Williams done us quite well in that first race. We couldn't quite keep up with um, 
the Racing Point Force India Audi in front of us. And Indy car driver Carlos Munoz, he's back. But uh, we didn't finish last, which is the important bit. Oh my god, I got so confused. Oh my god. Look who's one position above us in the table. It's me! Oh, it's me! <laughs> oh my god. It's me from a parallel universe. Where I'm from New Zealand, apparently. It's not Adam Johnson. It's AJ's Kiwi cousin. Who's, you know, talking about ch things being chocker and wearing a New Zealand rugby shirt. This is this is an Inception level shit. And he's driving the Subaru as well. This is getting trippy. Right, what if we face him in the next round? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're in the same heat. Oh no. Oh no. If he has the same livery as my car, this is going to be trippy as balls. Oh my god. Also, it might just be me getting ready to the, getting used to the car, but man, the AI put much more of a challenge that time. Oh, Chris's mum won. My cousin is half a second quicker. Well, if he's from New Zealand, it'd be all those dirt roads. It's like Finland, Sweden. You're just like, you've basically got to do a rally just to get to the shops. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no. In-game repairs cost money now. Huh? Huh? I've still got to get through <laughs> potentially five races without damaging my car whatsoever. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Cross your fingers. <laughs> well, no, I can't afford to. <laughs> I'm literally going to be like busking in the pits. We'll, we'll debase self for money to repair my car. Anyway. Oh my god. It's literally the same livery as my car. Oh, I'm tripping out so much right now. This is trippy as balls. Oh my god. It's me. I'm literally looking across like, it's me. I'm staring back at myself. This is like me. Yeah, there, look, me on the right. Oh god. Can I get a better start than me? It's a race against myself. No. Screw you, me. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. No. Oh, send it. I decided very last minute to not take the Joker. Oh, I'm in the lead. Yeah. Suck it, uh, me. I'm so confused. Go on, Will. Let's leg it. Not taking the Joker on the first lap might be a better strat for Montalegre, honestly. It's quite a hard track to pass on. Quite probably why Chris hates it with a burning passion. Oh, no. Ow. No. I'm supposed to not be crashing my car. I can't afford the repairs. Imagine the post race interview. Oh, we're in the lead anyway. And I think now we'll take the Joker. Bollards. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, it's me. Oh, it's me. I'm leading. I'm leading and in second. All right. I've got to take down myself. Self versus self. It's like that pendulum song. I've got to do battle with the greatest enemy ever. Myself. Oh, God. I'm bollarding it. Oh, my God. Uh, me? Can you show me how you're doing the corners that well? AJ versus AJ. Yes, it is. Oh, he's jokering now. Ha <laughs> ha. See ya. This is like those memes where it's like me, my my anxiety or my depression or something. Well, at the moment, I can get fucked. Oh, I've fallen to third. I mean, that's terrible. We've, I've got to do better than that. But I'm also leading, so yeah. This has been the most confusing race ever, and it's not over yet either. Right. Just gotta get home clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a good drift to corner. And this is a good drift to car. 
I just need to make sure I don't crash too much because I can't do any repairs to this car whatsoever. Imagine if it flashes up like, major brake failure, brakes need replacing. Um, um, just go knocking on the other team's doors like, excuse me, do you have any spare brakes that you wouldn't mind me having for nothing? Can I pay you back? <laughs> Who are you? I'm you, but faster. Exactly. That's, that's me right now. Ah, yeah, so that is the reason. Yeah, I can get that. Well, I finished, I won, yeah. And I finished third. Yeah. Oh God, I'm getting a headache. Crush is a banger of a pendulum song. It is. It really is. Oh, by the way, while I think of it, um, standard things apply with, you know, standard tip. If you're new around here, if you're hanging out for the first time, welcome along. Hope you enjoy your stay in the arcade. Uh, there's a follow button up there. That if you hit that, you'll be notified of when we're going live next. You can subscribe as well if you really want to. There is also a tip button, tip link down there in the description as well. Not mandatory at all, but if you like what we do that much, um, you can also subscribe on uh, YouTube to our YouTube channel. Uh, also, Chato's blowing up about the fact Kane was in that race. Oh my god, Clint. <laughs> and he was in a Subaru as well. What is going on? I picked the Subaru because barely no one uses it IRL in Rallycross, and now everyone in the game's using it. Maybe it's because we're in, only in the Clubman Championship. When we actually make it to the World Rallycross Championship, everyone will be like, they don't use that shit. Right. That's got to be clean. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. Only the bodywork's still damaged. We didn't pick up any extra damage. Bodywork can be fine. We can literally be driving around at the end with no body panels left on the car. No, no, I can't afford to. I didn't bring my guitar with me to do some busking in the pits. Right, so that's got to be Kane heading off in Group A. Me is heading off in Group B. And then... IndyCar driver Carlos Munoz. And Chris's mom. Chris's mom is in this heat. For the first time, we'll get to have a showdown. Oh my god, her car's literally the same colour. We are teammates. Chris, we're teammates. Well, I'm starting on the pole. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Do it. Come on, let's go. Hey, Chris's mum. Come out to... Play! Oh, side by side down to the first corner. Our team manager's blowing up us. He doesn't, he doesn't want the teammates to crash at the first corner. But what he doesn't realise is that he has signed fierce rivals. Who are you, Cook? Well, you can just go and get overheated and boil over and go mouldy in the corner or something. You are not part of this beef. You are not part of this uh, teammate stroke feud. Rivals turn teammates. Oh, we're out in the lead again. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hear anything. Chris Cook's brother. Oh, no. Does that mean just, uh, I'll just be able to hear? Bottas. Bottas. Fuck you, you stupid plebo wanker. Can't fuck. Hold something. Oh, he's in the lead. No, he's not. E. Flores is... Oh, my God. Out in front. Oh, my God. Spent six and a half, nearly seven hours streaming this the last few nights. Why didn't I ever think another stream tonight and jumping straight into World Rallycross cars was a good idea? So if I'm not dinged by the end of my completion of this series, oh my god! Um, is it though? Is it though? Because it really wasn't. It might be. I sense Flora is trying to send it. Yeah, the AI have definitely stepped up. Which I appreciate, because they were pathetically awful in the first championship. Both in Rally and Rally Cross. I assume they get better the faster. Oh no! Oh no! I've drifted off. It's so easy to understand. Ow! No, don't don't hit my car! I can't afford the repairs! Oh no! Ow! Sorry, I've hit Chris's mom. Out the arse. It wasn't intentional. Right, I'm, oh no, I'm gonna have to send it. Send! Oh no, three wide! Ow! Right, 
a bit more body work damage, but we're fine. We're good. We're through. Okay. We've also gone through the only overtaking spot on the entire track. And now we've got to try and pass this plebo for the win. The dirt through there is so slippery. You just slide gradually away from the... You're like, yeah, I'm going to hit the apex. And then it's just like, no, you're not. All right. Oof, two wheels across the line. Second. Not bad. I'll take it. All-star team of Adam, Adam Toon, to my mom and Kane. It is the dream team right now, the all-star team. And in the end, team Jesus, what the fuck. <laughs> Finish second and third. I mean, I beat Chris's mom again. That's kind of all that's important. Right, sixth place after that one. That should be good for uh, in terms of points. And in the final heat, we are going to be in the same heat as Chris's mom again. Uh, what else is there going to be? Um, try third through the tight stuff. Oh, really? How is the multiplayer in 2.0? Haven't had a chance to try it yet, Tim Kims. Um, oh, hello, Jacksident32. Hello. Good to have you along as well. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try the multiplayer yet, but uh, I am interested to. Team Blue Brew. <laughs> I am interested to, given that in a really good F1 2018 game that I really enjoyed, multiplayer was kind of the letdown. <laughs> It was pretty bollocks, I'll be honest with you. But um, hopefully they've improved it this time around. I know there's more options in terms of head-to-head -head rallies and uh, rally cross and stuff. Engine braking. Yes, right. Okie doke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. I can afford that. You yes. Fix that. I can actually afford that fix. We've literally just bodged it with a hammer. There we go. We're fine. We're good. Can't be worse than the first dirt route. Yeah. For the last few years, the multiplayer also abused... The I'm trying, dude. Yeah, historically, for the last few years, the online in um, Cody's racing games has... It's not been good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So, uh, we'll see this time around. Obviously, where it's not been released yet, there's not that many people playing online yet. So, we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be able to get to test that out at some point. And here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where am I going? Oh, Chris Cook's brother's past me. Who is this peanut? I mean, you sent it on me, and then and now you're just sort of blithering around. And now you're just throwing dust in my face. What are you doing? Okay, that was a bit better. Oh my god, it just... It over-rotates so much in these corners. <laughs> and now I've got an itchy nose. Right. Right, so... O-Cook has taken... <laughs> that sounds very close to O-Cock. Has taken uh, the Joker as well. And he's crashed into a bollard. Oh, and Chris's mom's trying to send on us. This is getting dramatic. Okay. Oh no. Ah, nice. A little bit of handbrake through there. Yes. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You know what time it is. Double City Pooch. It's like Suplex City, but better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is not the track to be... To start... To start showboating. The Lindsay Jacobellis of sim racing keeping up to my reputation there. Come on, come on. Hustle, hustle. Right, oh no. I just over-rotate on that first corner. And then that screws up my line for the rest of the... Don't try and pass me here, you peanut. That's just not a good idea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh. No. Oh, oh good. Yes, Chris's mom's playing tail gunner for us. Go on, Chris's mom. See if we can get a one-two. 
Meanwhile, I'll try and navigate this second half of the track that I just cannot do. No, that's not the handbrake. That is. Okay. Come on. Two more corners. Two more corners. There we go. Oops. Yes. There we go. AJ's broke AF. Yeah, and I'm pretty skinny in game as well. Hey all. First grid multiplayer was the Shears. Yeah, it really. I remember that. O OG race driver grid. Right, finished sixth in that heat, so we should. Yeah, we're fifth. Easily through. And Chris's mom threw in third. Interesting. And oh! Me from an alternate universe has failed to qualify, so. <laughs> finished 15th in the end. I mean, that's crap. He, I mean, he tried to finish fifth, like me. I finished fifth and also 15th. There you go. The similarities just don't end. Right, anyway, we're going to be starting third in the first semi-final. And guess what? We're going to be starting behind Chris's mom. Who, anyone new to the stream, by the way, Chris's mom is M. Holmgren. There's now a running joke that CF Diego 8 has, um... He just randomly said in the first trip, Oh, there's my mom! And it was like, what? And it was M. Holmgren who was driving a VW Polo. So, ever since then, we've been like, M. Ho M. Holmgren is definitely Chris's mom. Chris always wondered why she was never around for him when he was growing up. Now we know. He thought she was having an affair with the milkman. She actually was becoming a world-class rallycross driver. Or maybe it's a midlife crisis thing. Maybe she's like, Jesus Christ, I've had to spend this long raising a son. You know what? I, I deserve to do something for myself. I'm going rallycross racing. It's like a cool midlife crisis. Okay, please don't let there be too many repairs. Right. Uh, no, no visible damage. Okay, so there might be damage, but you can't see it. That, that, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Try not to be a backseat driver. <laughs> Round the sweeper, get the car sideways in readiness for the chicane. Uh, like, re like really, really sideways. For the final chicane or the one before? Well, yeah, game, we've had this conversation. I can't afford to fix it. Anyway, we're into the first semi-final. I've got sweat going already. We've been driving for about 20 minutes. I've already got sweat on. Tells you what you need to know about this game. Second to look. Right, okay. Yeah, because they always flick really hard to the right there, don't they? There's no nay. Yeah, no, there isn't. Oh, my God. But there is a Chris's mom, and we're about to send it. Yeah! I'll get it. Go on. Yes! Get schooled. All of you. Get absolutely schooled. Oh my god. We nearly flipped. And Chris's mom is in second. We're running 1 2. The former, the former bitter rivals have now become teammates on Team Blueberry. Ooh, oh, balls. No, no. Oh, I can't do this corner. No. All right, Chris's mom, you... Ah! Oh, my God. I've just goofed up that series. Right, we'll wait till the next lap to take Chris's advice. As his mom leads the race. Are we going to joke her? No. Oh, my God. Ah! Jesus Christ. I nearly drove right up the arse of... Um, uh, oh, Chris's mom. Neil, shut up. I'm not listening to you. There seems to be a common theme with Cody's racing games. I just completely ignore... The, uh, the voice in my ear. Except if it's rally co-drivers in Dirt Rally. I, I kind of need to listen to them. Kind of important that you listen to them. Right. Okay, what was Chris saying? So, on this chicane. And then flick it back. Ow. I mean, I can see what we were going for. It was like a maths exam. I showed my working, uh, but I didn't get the right answer. So we'll try again this. Uh, ow! <laughs> Once we finish mounting the rumble strips to turn one. Right. Everyone's joking except for Chris's mom. Chris... Chris's mom's being a team player here. She's charging out in front, locking this race down. And then she'll take the joker later and let me through to win. Yeah, that's obviously going to be planned, isn't it? Right, Chris's mom. 
We're going to have a team order scandal in the first round of the new championship. I think we are. Oh, that was better. Didn't follow Chris's advice at all, but it seemed to go better. And Chris's mom still hasn't taken the Joker. But remember, semi-finals and finals, two laps longer than the heat. That's how Rallycross works, so... And the top three go through, so even if he... Oh, my! Gee, oh, my God! Will! William! What are you doing? Stupid car! Had nothing to do with the blithering idiot driving it, of course. Alright, handbrake. There you go, that's how you get through that corner, mostly. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's better. What was I even saying before my car got bored and spun out on its own? Uh, yeah. In the semi-finals, only the top three go through. So, at the moment, we're fine. We don't have to win the round, but it's nice, you know? And, of course, you get a better uh, qualifying starting spot for the finals. Yeah, they are. I can't deal with this, Techers. Right, here we go. Chris's mom's going into the Joker. And he's going to finish the Joker before I even get to turn one. Hey, never mind. Like I said, second will do. And we'll get us through to the finals. And it will be a one-two for Team Blue Brew. Oh, Gould. Which is, of course, otherwise known as uh, the recurring name for race teams on this channel, which is Armour Arcade Autosport, as presented by Big Johnson NG. Well, Big Johnson NG is doing us very well so far. Yeah, I'll keep up this pace for the next one corner. <laughs> right advice, but wrong corner. Oh, the right sweeper. Right, okay. Jason, what were you saying when you said there was no nay? Nay, the co-host of our Arcade, of course. Right, well, we'll get, get through to the final. A one-two. From me and Chris's mom. And we've now got... We are going to be roll Well, we're going to be rolling our third in the final. Chris's mom starting on pole. The winner of the second semi-final. In second, of course. Ha! Huh, feeling confident. Let's go. Find your own technique. Ah. Yeah. As a World War II Japanese fighter pilot once said. I'm going to follow that guy's advice. Because my driving is kind of like being a World War II Japanese fighter pilot. <laughs> Kamikaze. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? Mike, why you do this? Right, cross your fingers. That there's nothing that needs repairing before the final round. Or well, if it is, we can just fix it up with a five quid roll of duct tape. Which has kind of been what's been holding together my car throughout this race. Because I accidentally spent all the money... On upgrading the crew and forgot that repairs now cost money. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Oh, thank God for that. Right, we've, oh, we've got a seven quid spare to afford another quick fix on the dampers. Right, put a bit more tape on them, lads. Bodge it together with a bit of two before. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. It just needs to survive. We've got seven quid left. Look in the... T oh, you can't see it. It's behind the Armour Arcade okay logo. If you can see that, we've got seven quid left. <laughs> seven credits. Oh my god. Right, okay. We need to win this. We need prize money badly. Otherwise, we're not flying home from Portugal. We can't afford the flights back. Okay, here we go. We're starting third. Just behind, back and to the left of our teammate, M. Holmgren, a.k.a. Chris's mom. Alright, here we go. Hello, Empire TM. Good to have you along. We've arrived just in time for the final of the first round of the Rallycross Clubman Championship. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Someone's jumped the start. Oh, no. And I've crashed into Chris's mom. Oh, that was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. Right, okay. 
Oh, well, we had a false start. Someone been DQ'd. Someone better have been DQ'd for that. This is a premium motorsports level like budget. <laughs> so your opponent just did a jump start. So they ah. Right. So because a Kokariv, Kokariv, whatever, uh, did a uh, jump start. That guy in the Renault, that pleb there in the Renault behind us, he did a jump start. So he's going to have to do two joker laps rather than just one. We have not jumped started. We've got a great start. The pair of blue brews. Oh, oh, do we send it on Chris's mom? Yeah, we're going to have to send it on Chris's mom. Oh, no. No. Teammates hitting each other at the first corner. Sorry, Chris's mom. Oh, my God. We nearly flipped. That's uh, okay. She's third. She can recover. We're good. Right, okay. So, this is the corner that... That's the corner that Chris said to get really sideways on. And you know what? I think he was right. You may have been right. Oh, God. All right, we got a good lead at the end of the first lap. All right, let's get the Joker out of the way. Oh, the nice bit of showboating to the fans. You know me, I like to put on a show. And some peanuts in the lead. Our teammate's taking the uh, Joker as well. Chris's mom has taken the Joker as well. Oh, my God. Note to self, AJ. Probably not a good idea to headbutt massively steep rumble strips and nearly flip at every corner. It adds a bit of unnecessary stress to proceedings. Right. Spam the handbrake. Get it turned in. Yes, there we go. Oh, I still can't do this section, but we've at least... Of the five corners on this track that I can't do, we've solved the first one. Right. Michaela... Oh, my God. What is going on back there? No, no, that's what happens when you mirror drive in Rallycross, folks. Oh, my God. All right, we're gaining on Michaela. And uh, they've still got to do a Joker, so... Joke's on them, really. Um, I should do another Joker. Yeah, that was punishment for that terrible pun, wasn't it? All right, now we've got work to do. Oh, God, it's that corner. Oh, everything's going absolutely balls up. Even my voice. Right, so we're now third. But the two leaders, the two cars in front of us still have to do the Joker. So we're good. Ah, Chris's mom's behind us. We found Chris's mom again. Oh, do we send it on IndyCar driver Carlos Munoz? No, we don't. Uh, we still got two and a bit laps to go. Relax. We got this. Oh, God. That's better. Oh, that's better. Got a decent run out of the final corner. Oh, he's going defensive. He's going on defense. But can he stop the dive on City? Oh, he's going to try. He threw the block, but it wasn't enough. Oh, yeah. He ain't stopping us that easy, Sunshine. Back up second. There you go. There you go. Let it slide all the way out, slow down, and then let the wheels sort of bite in just on the apex. Oh, there we go. We're getting it together now. Final lap. Final lap, and the leader is taking the joker. It all comes down to this. Come on, car. Everything you have. Right, we've... We're, there's basically no passing spots left on the track. But if you think that means I'm not going to try and make the pass, well, you're sorely mistaken. Right, come on. Get this corner right. Get this corner right. Get this corner right. Uh, it'll do. Uh, we've just cut the course, but the officials didn't mind. Right, send it! Oh, God. No, that hasn't worked. We went for it and it failed. But we still got second. We still got second. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. As long as we don't roll it, we will survive with our $7. I think we did in the end. Oh, man. Man, what a race. <sighs> My favorite bit of Dirt Rally 1 is back in all its majesty in Dirt Rally 2.0, and it's better than ever. 
full-on supercar rally cross racing. Oh, we finished second in our debut in the supercar category. Chris Mom finished third. P. Michaela takes the opening win in the Renault. Not for lack of trying. We, we yeeted the fuck out of the final corner. It was never on, but we were always going to go for it. We just sent anyway. Oh, event finished. Is there no podium? What? Why did we finish third overall? Oh, it was because of was it because of points in qualifying? Oh, we got money. <laughs> we still want enough prize money to fly home. Right. We shall go back to the menu and do our first rally of the night now that we can actually fix up our pre-owned Lancia. Oh, nearly at 30 viewers. Look at this. Welcome on. Welcome along, everyone. Still a podium. Yes, it is. It is. Right, let's head over to the garage. Do the much-needed repairs on the... Uh, Lancia, before we go racing in it. Yep, there we go. While we're here, we'll also get... Oh. How is tuning so expensive in this game? Something that's a basic setup thing in a sim racing game, and it's so expensive to unlock for a car. That's weird. The ability to change your setup is one of the most expensive upgrades for every car. Not sure I like that. Anyway, uh, we'll save our money for now, because we kind of need to build our money back up. So, are we ready for the first rally of the night, guys? Are we? I mean, I'm not. Oh, God, it's Argentina as well. <laughs> One of the most arduous as well. But we have Nicky, named after the great Nicky Hayden, the Repsol boy. Our Lancia, well, the Lancia Fulvia did us very well. And now it is time to press the upgrade button and upgrade to a Delta Integrale Group A. It might be because you don't have a dedicated mechanic in the... T oh! Yeah, that might be a bad point, actually. We're going back to New England today. We might be, Preston. We might be. Yeah, that's an interesting point that Super Mike makes. I'll look into that. Anyway. We are going to Catamarca Province, Argentina. Nice short 2.8... 2.08 mile stage to start. Well, I say a nice short two-mile stage. That's a lot of twisty turns. Argentina, it's a heavy gravel service. There's rocks everywhere around the stage. It is brutal. Argentina is friggin' brutal. And I think we may have just hit a new peak record for viewership on Armbar Arcade Twitch stream. So thank you very much, everyone. Hope you're all enjoying your stay in the Armbar Arcade Chateau. If you are new around here, um, please do hit the like... Uh, no... Like, follow, follow button. I should know these things. Uh, up there. So you follow us and you'll know when we're streaming live next. We normally stream twice, maybe three times a week. This week's special one was streamed three times across back-to-back -back nights because of Dirt Rally 2.0 hype. Um, but yeah, also subscribe if you really want to. That would be lovely of you. It's not mandatory, but it would be lovely of you. Uh, there's also a tip button down there. Uh, again, none of it's mandatory, but if you like what we do, uh, that would be lovely. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put all our VODs up over there, and we upload exclusive videos over there. It's youtube.com forward slash armbarcade. Right. Plugging over. It's time to do this. Yes, what Jason said. Welcome aboard, everyone. Hope you stick around. Um, hope you enjoy your stay here. So. Oops. Right. We've got a rundown of our stages. They're quite short stages to start off. We had the bizarre thing in the first rally of the first championship in the game, in career mode, it was like an eight. It was like an eight-mile stage. It was ridiculous. Right, okie doke. Chateau, fair warning in advance. Those of you who were around the last few days will know this, but fair warning. I'm going to be pretty quiet on the actual stages because I've got to listen to the co-driver. Oh, and listen to that engine. Let's do it to it. Oh my God, this is. A this is a bit faster than the uh, Fulvia. In both cases, I'm going from low-powered front-wheel drive cars to high-powered four-wheel drive cars. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's, uh, let's just get used to this car, shall we? Oh, God. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. There we go. 
We're good. <laughs> oh. Into two left. Fifty of a narrow bridge. Into three right dot cut tightens. Into three left tightens. Oh. Into oh. Right These roads make you work. What's that Rihanna song? We work, 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 work or something. That's that's Argentinian stages. Oh, there's some dust up the road. We're catching up with someone. I like that feature. I don't remember if it was in uh, Dirt Rally or Dirt 4. The fact that there are other people on the stage at the same time as you, which is realistic to a real rally. Of course, you never normally catch up with other people on the stage. But, of course, if someone has an issue like a puncher, a few times we have passed people who have broken down at the side of the road. And uh, we have seen dust up the road. Oh, my God. Those... Oh! Yeah! Sorry, I'm not going to wave to you fans because I'm kind of busy. I'm sure you appreciate that. Well, let's open out the lance here a little bit. Let's open the taps. It's a good sound. Oh, why am I breaking so much? This is why I'm breaking so hard. I knew a twisty corner would come up soon. I'm making liberal use of the handbrake round here. Maybe also, uh, we're on gravel, so maybe some, some tighter steering. Yes, bigger steering inputs. There you go. And a handbrake there as well. Oops, wrong gear. Whoa! Whoa! Bit late on the call there, Phil. <laughs> then again, I did set it to have the calls come a little bit later because I struggle to remember them if they're too far in advance. But we have chipped another two seconds out of the lead. We're getting up to speed quickly. There's more dust in front of us as well. I must be distracted by that. There you go. Oh. Oh, 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 no, no, there we go, we're good. Just fancied having a look at what was down that small ridge, and um, I just saw it was just a load of massive rocks, so I didn't fancy gate crashing Dwayne Johnson's family do, so I'll be surprised if we gain any more time. Yep, okay, well, the final margin was only 7.9 seconds, so good first stage for the Lance here, though. For Nikki. Well done. That felt good, but let's check the time. It did feel good. It did. This catch up feature was in Dirt 3, was it? As in you catch up with other people on the stage. Master B1235, hello, welcome back. We're eating a very big pizza right now. Everyone's having pizza tonight. I had pizza before the stream. It's really nice. It was like a margarita. But like free from, so it was like vegan, gluten free margarita. But it was so nice. I loved the garlic bread with it. Mm. It's El Condor. Yeah, of course it is. This is some of the most brutal stages in World Rally. Not much damage. Yes, useful. <laughs> nice replay. <laughs> nice freeze frame replay of the moment I nearly sent it off a bridge. Oops. All right, so we're third after the opening stage. Oh, it's another. 2.08 mile stage. A couple of short ones to start off. I'm not opposed to it at all. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> Got such a sweat on already. What is going on? Is it the same stage? Oh, it's reverse of the same stage, and oh no, it's at night. Into one left, extra long. Good. Oh, you can see the dust up the road. Maybe it's just that the dust hangs in the air a lot longer. Oh my god. Oh my god, the dust is really hanging in there. Uh -huh. Nick driven into a toilet. Whatever that was. Yeah, it is literally the reverse of the last stage. Oh god. Two left, 
Where is the two left? Here it is. Extra long. The good, the one good thing about all these rocks at the side of the road is that the light reflects off them. So you can actually see where you're going quite well. If you're going through a forest, you can see nothing up ahead. But because the rocks are sort of reflecting the light off the headlights, it's kind of helping a bit. Also, this car may just have better headlights than the uh, the Fulvia. I can also believe that. Ow! No, 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 no. Ow! Oh, we're up by a tenth. Unbelievable scenes. I always get a little bit nervous when I dink the left front or right front because I'm paranoid about getting another puncher. Where is it? Here it is. Six right. 30. Open hairpin left. Is it hairpin right, did he say? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, there it is. Sorry to belch back at you, Phil. That was a bit rude. Oh, go. Ah. Ah. Right. Now we're down point 1.1 seconds. Oh, this is that fast section, isn't it? Uh -huh. Ah! How is it we keep falling off the road at the one, the sole part of the road where there's no rocks? Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Uh -huh. Those massive gates of hell on every bridge, which are just about as wide as a rally car. Just about. Here they are again. <laughs> okay, hey Joe, we're getting a little bit raggedy. Come on, let's focus. Oh, we're still in contention, so. Ow. Maybe the stage isn't really about being fast. It's just about not dying. I mean, that's life, really, isn't it? It's kind of about not dying. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting sweat in my eye now. Oh god. I'm getting cramping much. Oh, oh! It's the same bridge! Ah! Plus! Plus! Um, can someone give me a toe? Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. That bridge, man, that is cursed. The cursed bridge. Forget the cursed child or cursed image. That's the cursed bridge. Now we finished 20 seconds down on that stage, inevitably. It's a shame because we would have been right there if, uh, you know, if we hadn't fallen off a bridge. Oh man! Well done. I hope the tyres are okay. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh my god! The entire front end of our car has changed shape. Oh man, we were 17th on that stage. Still ninth overall though. We are. About 25 seconds or so down on the leader. So we're still in the top 10. We're not out of this by any means. Oh. I'm going to take my glasses off for a moment. When I'm wearing my headphones, they sort of pinch in my ears. There we go. Of course, the, du the, air, the, um, the dust is hanging because it's high altitude. There's no air to move the dust. Damn, my throttle foot was generally cramping up during that stage. Whoa, 1,145 feet of elevation change. It's now an ah. <laughs> A Lancy, ah. Right. Bodywork and damper repairs. Is that it? Oh, take that. We can actually afford the repairs this time. <laughs> Aunt and Seer. Hello, uh, uh, it looks at you took around here. Right. We're at 112th in the running order. We'd have to make some effort to finish last in this rally. Then we have like eight right. stages, so like Good five left. left. We've got four stages left, so it's six stages of rally so far. Five, four, All right, come on, let's focus again. Two, oh, bollocks, I haven't got my glasses on. 60, <laughs> unseen, four left, 
Oh no. Oh no, it's a bad thing. Oh, it's a bad thing I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, and I'm really noticing the difference. Nice Welsh flag out there to support my co-driver. Oh Only one second down. Oh, this is a lot more open, this one. Nope. Oh. 50. We've had our first... Can we get 50s in chat? Only 1.4 seconds in it. This is close. The AI have definitely stepped up. There's a two right coming up. And there it is. Uh, now we're back into the mountains. Still a bit more flowing though. Oh, now we're just a tenth down. No! Why does this keep happening? Bollocks, why does this keep happening? Just as I'm like, oh, I'm actually doing really well. Crash. Plummets off a cliff. Alright, come on. Right, come on, we got time to make up now. Oh, that's a that's a wall! No! How's that happened? Keep right into unseen Everything's just gone horribly wrong. Again. Oh no, no, come on. Come on now. Alright, now we're back in the twisties. Which is, you know, exactly what I want now. Oh, Car seems very, like, not understeery, but it just wants to shoot out all the time. Like, maybe I just need to get the back end working a lot more. Out. Oh god, it's another bridge. Oh god, help. Ow! Fuck! It's quickly becoming one of those stages. <laughs> you know the one. I blame not wearing my glasses. The glasses are power. Oh, of course, this is the longest stage of the rally as well. Thirty seconds down now, but all we can do now is try and catch up and not lose as many positions. We'll still be slower than the leader, but um, maybe we can gain time back on everyone else. You know. This looks like a stage uh, section from the first stages of the rally. We have made up a second on the lead. I'll take that. We were fastest in that section. 
I'll take it. We're getting time back. Oh, it's just a fast section as well. Oh, too late. I already did. 50. 50. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I might have to adjust the co-driver calls because now we're in a faster car. We are uh, catching Phil out a bit. He's now so late with his calls, we're halfway around the corner. Most of the time, he's still good, though. We're basically on top of some of these corners when he uh, finally gives a call. I'm just sort of guessing at the moment, but it's working. We've Haven't we got, like, five seconds back on where we were? Four or five seconds? Come on, come on. Oh, that's rocks. <laughs> and there's the finish. Nice. Got like six seconds back in the end there. I'll take it. I mean, we still lost another 24 seconds in the leader. How did the car feel in that stage? Do you want to make any setup changes at the next service? Well, I can't, to be honest. <laughs> well, we were 12th that time. We were... How far behind? We were 24 seconds behind the stage winner. And we had 19 seconds worth of penalties to retrieve. Fifty. <laughs> All of Chateau is like, please get your glasses back on right now. Glasses, I will never leave you again. Ever. Right. Oh, God, that's better. I can see again. Alright. We're still only 10th. This is like that Simpsons meme now. It's just a little falling off a cliff. It's still good. It's still good. Alright. Co-driver calls. A little bit earlier. Let's just set them a little bit earlier. I don't like them too early, because if they come, like, multiple corners in advance, then I'm just like, ah... I can't remember what you said. It's like, well, it was a one right, and then what was it? A five bollocks I'm off a cliff. I mean, some of you funny boys in chat may just be like, well, what's di Excuse me, what's different about this now? That's what real life do. Well, I'm not a real life rally driver. Probably more the better, to be honest. What's this? This is only 1.7 miles this stage. Love the fact that I forgot my glasses for the longest stage on the bloody rally. Start 60, bumps into four right, 30, one right long open. Okay. Right, so we're chasing a 2 minute 43.5. Wow, this is a short old stage. Just going to adjust the seat. Adjust my shoulders. There we go. Oh, that's better. Five. Oh, God. Yeah, these cars are very easy to... It's quite understeery, and it is very easy to lock the brakes and just go sending off. So, as Chris said, spam the handbrake, which is exactly what I'm doing. There you go. 2.2 seconds down. Whoa. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, you see what I mean? Oh, come on. Unseen to right. I love Argentina. I really do. 
It's one of those. It was like, uh, was it Greece? There was a rally in Dirt Rally One, where it was. It was very similar to this. It was really loose gravel, and like if if you just went off the course even a tiny bit, you hit a rock or something brutal and immediately died. Like there was no, and we're down fucking 17 seconds again. Joy. All right. Come on. Let's knuckle down now. There you go. Oh, fuck. Left, Cut the corner too much there. Why are the wipers on? Opens. Car, it's it's definitely not raining. Yes, I did just turn the lights on. It is actually quite dark in these sections. Right. All right, we've already made a second back. We've got to stop having these stages where we have a massive crash. And then just spend the rest of it destined to lose another 20 seconds or so. So just like the last rally championship, we're starting off on a with a terrible performance. We've still got the rest of the stage and two more to bring it back. Flat out to the finish. Whee! <laughs> Meteor across the finish line. Well, we made up a few seconds in the end there. I'll take that. It's just so frustrating because it was such a minor mistake. That stage was tough, rally. But it felt fast. Yeah, let's hope so. Oh, look at me in the car. I'm, I'm banging the steering wheel. I'm like, fuck. Damn it. 18th. Oh, man. What a disastrous set of stages. It might have been Greece. Yeah, I think it was Greece, actually. There was one rally in Dirt Rally 1 that was very similar to Argentina. It was really like dirt roads, very twisty. And if you even put a slight wheel off the road, you're dead. You, you just... You may as well have mines lining the road. Oh, now it's raining. Oh, no. It is a five mile stage though, so if we get this one clean, we could make up some time here. Jason! Oh, that's useful, so uh, only bodywork damage. The amount of punishment we've put this car through, I'm surprised that's all it is. Oh my god, it is absolutely wanking it down. Starts 30. Three left long into five right opens over crest. Help. Bumps, I've, right I've, long. oh my god, look at that. Five, four, three, two, one. Help! Three left long into five right. Oh my god, it's so slippery. I mean, we're on loose gravel already. Alright, just keep it clean. Not fast, clean. I'm definitely going to be very quiet on this stage. There is no option. This is not a banter stage at all. This is the anti-banter rally. See what I mean? Just lock the brakes once and immediately almost straight into a rock. There it is. Also, another reason I don't want to make a mistake. I don't want to knock the lights out. Only 1.86 seconds. Come on! Yeah, definitely not a fan of making the ability to change the setup on the car. Something you have to unlock with a lot of in-game money. Well, a relative amount of in-game money. Because we could really do with some setup changes right now with this car. Come on. We'll muscle through. Come on. 
it's it's just not turning at all. Feels like it's sort of sliding around on just a pure road of grease. It's like they've decided, you know what? We're not going to surface this road with asphalt. We're going to surface it with motor oil. And soap. Alright. Spamming the handbrake, though. We are staying clean. We've not fucked up yet. Long way still to go, though. 50! 50. 50's in Chateau. Come on. 50's in Chateau. Alright, we're now down three seconds, but that's fu fuck. It's okay, we're not not gonna punch or anything. Stay calm. Phil, every corner's unseen at the moment. Fifty. Sliding all the way out. Where's the three right? Here it is. I think I can see what's happening. Where there's so much stuff on the inside of corners, I don't turn in till quite late, so I end up just sliding way out to the outside. Like that. Like that. That was a perfect demonstration. Oh my. And then that happens. You just touch the brake and you just skid off. Oh my god. This is a car we need to make setup changes on. Except we haven't unlocked the ability to make setup changes yet. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> well, now we're just going to finish miles back by being slow. And at least we haven't crashed yet. Oh, we're barely halfway through the stage. Fucking hell. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, turn! It's like being back at the start of the game when... We couldn't figure out the steering settings. Oh, where's the one right? Yep, I love just sliding into corners and not being able to slow down. That really gives me a lot of confidence in the car. Just spent this whole stage moaning. Enjoying this. Right. 
right. Keep the left over 30. Two right. Into one left. Small cut. Opens 30. Three right. Four left. Don't cut. Into unseen one right. How have we gained time on the leader? I haven't the faintest idea. We pull that one back. Did the tyres perform okay in that stage? <sighs> yeah, in the I'm not dead. LP, I'll tell you what that was. That was the Dark Souls of sim racing. <sighs> I've, I'm stoked that I finished fifth. <sighs> oh my god. Game ain't gone from easy to hard. It's gone from easy to god mode. Well, we're back up to eighth. I might still salvage a decent result in this thing. I haven't the faintest idea how. Oh, God. I'm genuinely... Genuinely a bit out of breath after that. Oh good, 3.2 miles. <laughs> Piece of piss. Oh god, it's at night. I shouldn't have said that. Well, at least it's dry. Small winds. <laughs> the fact that all the chat was just like, my god, we survived. I'm like, yeah. No one's more surprised than you lot at that. Oh god, look at the left front of our car. Four left opens 50. Keep right of a jump, maybe. Okay, target time 4.36. Come on, Nikki. One more time of feeling. This time. <laughs> Into five left. Thirty. Four right. Into three left. Into two right tightens. Thirty. Cut three left long tightens. Into half and left unseen. Keep left of a thirty. Caution don't cut. Four right. Four left. Sorry, I've basically been silent through the last few stages. I hope you understand, Chateau. This is work. <laughs> 1.1 seconds down. I'll take that. Now, let's see if we can stay, stay in it. Not fuck it up. Come on. Come on, car. Oh, fuck. Opens. 
Into three right of a crest, into four left, into one right tightens. Keep right of a 30, three left long, tightens two. Opens of a crest, into five left, into four right. Thank you, right. conveniently positioned wall. Caution, keep right, don't cut five left. Thirty, crest on one left long, tightens heavy left. Into five right. Come on, come on. Come on, little car. Don't screw this up. Still in this. Still in it. Come on. Stay calm. Stay focused. There it is. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. <laughs> Are you, now you're happy with it. Okay in that stage. Yes. Oh man. <sighs> okay, we didn't win the stage. But fuck, we got third. Oh, oh. I'll take it. We actually beat the rally leader. That's probably who we were up against, actually. Thank you, Empire TM. Fuck. Oh. Jenna got sweat on. What's going on? Seventh in the end. Jesus, I don't think <coughs> in any sim racing game ever has seventh felt like such a win. Oh, my God. Fuck, man. What? What a rally, Jesus. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> the most appropriately named and timed achievement ever. Oh I'm just gonna take my hat off for a second. Oh man. And I'm gonna grab a bottle of water. Oh man. Thick sim racer boy is <laughs> reduced to pile of sweat. So good, it reduces thick sim racer boys to puddles of sweat. Quote that on Barricade. Quote that on the review poster. Put that on the box. 
All right, okay. Should we um calm down with some nice relaxing rally cross? <laughs> this fucking game, man. Only in this game could rally cross, six hundred horsepower rally cross cars, be called relaxing. <sighs> oh man, hang on. Can we afford? Uh... God, looks like he had a stroke. <laughs> um. Oh, Dark Sandman? No, I don't think there is any hill climb, unfortunately. Hello to you and Kermps too, by the way. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I don't know if they lost the license to it or something. There's been a lot of license fuckery since Dirt Rally and then uh, this one. So it's a shame because uh, that was a cool part of Dirt Rally 1. The fucking 1,000 horsepower Peugeot 405 hill climb cars and stuff. Um, oh, we can't do anything. Oh, I guess we'll find out once we get into the event. Oh my god. Right, okay. <laughs> right. I have to go in 15 minutes. Got a Forza League race. Good luck. Where are you racing at? And what in? Ow. Wow, it's still even more expensive. That is wild. Okay. Right. Oh, I, yeah, repairs. I can actually afford repairs now. For those... Oh. <laughs> well, fuck that then. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, either way, if you weren't, if you guys weren't here, if anyone wasn't here for the first rallycross round of tonight, um, I'd accidentally spent all my money on new cars and upgrades to the team crew, um, so we couldn't afford repairs during the event. <laughs> we could only afford to basically like tape things up with duct tape and crossed fingers. Oh, there's some brutal rain clouds looming in the distance. I don't like the look of that. All right, here we go. Well, it's not... Oh, my God. Oh, we can repair it. Okay, good. Oh, my God. That's a lot of repairs. That's all the repairs from the last... Ra <laughs> In fairness, most of that bodywork damage was from where I brutally sent it on the leader at the very last corner in the final. <laughs> it's wrecked. <laughs> really is. You take a penalty and miss it because I'm English. Um... Volvo 850s in Indianapolis. <laughs> they must be Slipstream boys right there. Right, so we're in race B. I like the hell track. Oh, we're in with the BWT Audi again. The Force India Racing Point Audi. Look at it there. Okay, eyes on the so we're lining up alongside Sergio Perez. When is the deluxe edition available? Which time? Uh, I think it might be a little bit earlier than that. It's a few days early, I believe. All right, here we go. And here we go. Go, go, go. Oh, good start. Oh, it is raining. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no. I'm in the lead. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, I guess. Every cloud like that one over there does have a silver lining. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Right, this will be interesting to gauge because uh, the AI felt tougher in the first round. But it was on a track I hadn't done before. I'm not sure what, uh, what time on Friday, to be honest with you. It might be midnight. Might be. I think... I Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. All right, we've ended the opening lap in a commanding lead, to be honest. But we haven't jokered yet. So let's address that. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, let's address that by bollocksing up the joker. Just to make things interesting. Oh, my God, we haven't lost the lead. Oh, because everyone else jokered at the same time. Follow, follow the leader. What rig am I using? I am using uh, my desk. <laughs> and um, I am using a Logitech... Oh, no, sorry, a Thrustmaster T150. With the uh, T3PA pedals. So the slightly upgraded ones you can get. It's not the most hardcore rig at all, but then again, I'm not a... Uh, professional sim racer or anything like that. I'm very much a... I don't like the word casual, but, you know. I, well, I play sim racing games for fun. So this was the kind of wheel I could get on my budget. And honestly, it's really good. I'm sure there are pro drivers that can still be super fast um, on on this setup without having to spend thousands of pounds on, like, direct drive wheels and shit like that. Oh, it is on PS4, yeah. This is the PS4 version of this game. Also, I am... 
Either I just happen to be really good at this track, or man, the AI just haven't stepped up yet. Or maybe the uh, the most brutal rally of my life in Argentina has leveled me up. If I can survive that, I can survive anything. You ain't got shit on me. Have I ever tried first-person camera? Uh, you mean that one or this one? I actually use this quite a lot in. Um... Oh god. I actually used this camera quite a lot in the first Dirt Rally. But this time around, if I'm using a first-person camera, I prefer this one. But I just like using cha uh, whoops. Uh, chase camera for the uh, Rallycross because I can drive with it. There you go. Easy first heat win. Uh, but yeah, I like using the chase camera just so I can show off the car on screen. I think it looks nice that way. So, But I use the cockpit cam for uh, rallies because I need to focus, quite frankly. Whew. Dominant win there. Eight seconds. And four seconds faster than Kokarev, who won the first round, I believe. And Chris's mom, third overall. Uh, if you're new here, by the way, CF Diego 8 uh, made a joke in the first stream we did on Monday that M. Holmgren, you can see there in third, um, he just randomly went, that's my mom, because she was driving a VW Polo in the first championship. So, uh, was it a Golf? I can't even remember. But ever since then, we've been calling M. M. Holmgren Chris's mom. So, Chris's mom finished third in Chasso. <laughs> I was fifth in the world on Dirt Rally with a pad. Yeah. I mean... It's up to a personal preference. I mean, isn't Super GT... Um, yes, the chase cam for Rallycross is very useful because you can see if someone's sending on you. And it helps when I'm sending on people, which is all the time. Um, yeah, I mean, super, is it Super GT? He uses a pad. He's freaking quick. Like, it's up to personal preference. I just wonder if you can play on third person. It doesn't work for me with the wheel. I'm playing in third person, well... In the rallycross stages, anyway. I've done some of the rally stages in third person as well. So. There we go. Thrustmaster T300 is a good bang for buck wheel. Yeah, it really is. This is It's the next level up from this, isn't it? I mean, this is one of the cheapest, best value... Um, Force feedback wheels you can get, honestly. I fucking love this wheel. Uh, the only thing it's missing over something like the Logitech G290 uh, is a stick. Stick shift. But I'm okay with just using, you know, flappy paddles. Um, uh, so let's head into the second heat, shall we? Alright, we are in the same heat as Chris's mom and the winner of the first round of the championship, Kokarev, in the Audi... S1 E R oh, blah de blah. Yes, do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's applauding. Alright, let's go, shall we? Use a pad on eye racing. Oh wow. Okie doke. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Oh god! I was too busy choosing my camera. No. Send it! It's a yeet, yeet, yeet world out there. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm in the lead. Oh, no. Oh, that was a bit of an over-rotation there. Oh. Oh, yeah. One-handed. That's why I love these cars. You get yourself into trouble, you can just power slide out of them. You can power slide straight into trouble and power slide your way back out. Oh, yeah. This has now become a D1 Grand Prix. Oh, my God. I'm out in front by, like, seconds. I'm out in front by 3.9 seconds. I think that's a pretty rallycross thing, though, isn't it? If you jump out if you jump out to a lead on the first lap, everyone else is so busy fighting each other that, um... Oh. Oh, they're caught up. They haven't jokered yet. Yeah, the car sounds off. Friggin' incredible. And it's lovely differences as well. Like, listen to this. This is the sound at the back of the car where it's mostly the exhaust. Listen to when I look behind. You notice it was really different. Because it was just capturing the uh, atmospheric noise of just the engine. I love touches like that. And the cockpit noise. The noise in the cockpit's very different. A 
That's not the chase cam I use. It's that one. There we go. Right. Now everyone's... Well, some people are jokering. Literally some people are jokering. I think I've just become a bit OP at this track, to be honest. It was the track I love racing most in Dirt Rally and Dirt 4. Radicals track. I just got good at this track. AI, get good. That's been my only criticism so far. The AI have got pretty... Uh, they've, been a bit, they've been a bit easy so far. But um, sometimes they haven't been. Certain scenarios, they haven't. Like, I mean, the last rally is proof of point. I don't know, maybe I'm just rinsing this one because I'm A, getting out in front early and B, just good here. All right, I've got to go and qualify for the Indy 112.5. Good luck, Chris. Godspeed. We will uh, keep you informed how your mom does. She's currently last in this heat. She's not doing well. They were really good last round. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I think in this case, I'm just, I've just got a lot of practice around this track. And if you jump out to the lead at the first corner and get a good first lap, you can really lock it down. Fuck, man. We finished like 16 seconds out of second place. And Chris's mom was the lowly last. Not doing well there. Pole time. There we go. Lovely, lovely. So now where are we? Right, we're in heat D again. Oh, need the water tonight, Jesus. Oh. All right, hat's going back on. Shit just got real again. Do I have no bonnet by the end of that? Or have they just taken it off in uh, service? Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> no repairs needed. That's how dom that's how OP we've been so far. Right. No damage. This is some sort of miracle. I legitimately cannot believe this. Hold the revs. Okay, here we go. Well, not a good start this time. Well, not as good. And I'm going to chance it and go to the Joker. Let's get the Joker out of the way on the first lap. See how that changes things. In fact, getting the Joker out of the way early can sometimes really work. Because they're also bunched up on the first lap, as you can see, they're not going fast at all. So you can... I mean, look, I've already caught up. Look at this. They're just stacking it over themselves. We're going to send around the outside of this... Okay, no, we're not. Um, I'm getting a bit too cocky now. And we've got Leroy in front of us. Lee ow. Leroy Jenkins. Ah, going back to the old school with the memes there, AJ. I'm willing to bet that's what he yells when he yeets it. Oh god. Leroy. Oh, he's in the lead. He's just he's just lost all his body work. Oh sick! Oh, get it done. We've just Leroy, Leroy Jenkins. He's coming back on the outs the inside though. Give me the inside down here. Oh, God. Slide. Slide job. Slide job. Oh, I just rinsed him. See you later. Goodbye. I'm checking out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where am I going? Oops. Okay. Got to be a little bit careful there. We did cut the, cut the track a little bit. Hang on. I know what to do. Give myself a penalty. Right. <laughs> we just let Leroy back through, but he's just taken jo uh, Joker, so there you go. But Michaela in the uh, Renault McGann. Closing up behind us a little bit. Cheeky devil. Saucy bugger there. Something like um, Rick Mail from Bottom. You saucy bugger. Ugh. 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 Before we get banned from Twitch, let's refocus. To be honest, if we've got a penalty hanging over us, we need to rinse this final lap. Just to make sure. It was really funny, in the in last night's stream, we had... Um, I got like two potential corner cutting penalties. And they could have totaled up to 15 seconds. So I ended up winning the race by 21 seconds. And I didn't even get any penalties. 
So it was all a moot point in the end. I won by enough that even if they had penalised me the maximum penalty, I still would have won, but they didn't even penalise me at all. Go figure. Anyway. Yeah! And... Yeah! Oh yeah, the judges are giving these high scores. They should do that in Rallycross. They should do like the NBA dunk contest. Just have the Rallycross power slide contest. Just do like an all-star weekend. Or an exhibition weekend where they just do the power slide competition. Oh, Dean Nielsen was disqualified. Michaela finished second. Leroy. Jenkins. What was 10? Is that 10 clips for the night, Jason? Oh, man. Right, well, another win. And we are back in the same heat as Chris's mom. Someone needs to spam him on Facebook or something. Be like, yo, your mum's doing, yo, your mum's doing well. Oh, your mum's got taken away, AJ. <laughs> Wait, I can't give a ten title in your house for his release. <laughs> Did he actually ask for his release? Is that an actual thing? It's how little I've been paying attention to WWE lately. She's been like, oh, is Becky Lynch still cool? Yeah. What else? Everything's bollocks. Okie doke. Yeah. Looking forward to that. All Elite Double or Nothing. Be like, wait, it's boy, it's Dommy Tillinger, and he's a perfect 11 today morning. Right, okay. Teammates starting one and two. Me and Chris's mom. Didn't end well the last time we were in the same heat. In fact, it never ends well when we're in the same race full stop. It's got the jump on us. Right, just send it into the Joker so no one cuts across us. That's always the danger if you Joker, if you go for an outside Joker while starting from the inside. And then straight back to catch up with everyone else because they're all going slow as ass. I don't know why the arse is considered particularly slow, but, uh, whatever. Oh, uh, uh, Jensen, do you mind? Jensen Button, do you mind? Jensen! Jensen! J do you mind? This peanut. You, you're letting Chris's mom get away. We can't have this. We're going to end up like Shaq and Kobe. Just like the feuding teammates. Oh, my God. Uh, I may have cut the course a bit there. I just let off to, uh not get a penalty. Ah, Chris and Mom's in the Joker. Yes! There you go. Kenneth Jensen. Do cockpit with the... Oh my god, where am I going? Do cockpit with the wheel, you say? Like this. Can do. <laughs> I can't see shit out the back. You get a great sense of speed in this game, I have to say. Oh! Serious sendage. We're yeeting with ourselves. It's like that song, Dancing With Myself. Yeeting with myself. Even when we just yeeted with ourselves. Well, it hasn't slowed us down. Oh my god, it hasn't slowed us down any. Was that you clipping my singing, Jason? Almost a clip worthy moment. When the thick Brit who can't sing decides to sing. First heard that song in the movie Flushed Away. That's a good film. That's the Ardman Animations claymation film that's not claymation, it's actually CGI. No, my dancing. <laughs> My yeeting. Well, cockpit cam has not slowed us down at all. Oh my god, except for then. And a celebratory yeet. Whee! <laughs> we nearly flipped over the line. Oh my god. 
Oh, man. Well, three from three. Or was that? No, four from four. Nice. Well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. The perfect run. Keep your legs straight until you hit the water. Look at that. The perfect 200 points. You've blown away the opposition. I will buy the deluxe edition tomorrow. Is it worth it? So far, overall, yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, the only issues I've really run into so far is that we had a steering, uh, an issue with the steering wheel setup um, when we first played. We needed to turn the saturation down. That could be personal opinion or personal taste. Uh, and the AI is a bit easy early on in uh, certain parts of career mode. But otherwise, it's been fucking amazing so far. It's been so good. So good. So good. <laughs> I think I will be top one in most crashes. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> You've come to the right stream. If you want to watch a fellow crasher. Hi. <laughs> little reminder, by the way, if you're new around here, please do hit the follow button up there. Um, to be notified when we're going live next, we stream about two, sometimes three times a week uh, normally. Um, also, subscribe if you really want to, and give us a little tip down there if, if you really want to, if you really like what we're doing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. That's where all our VODs go, and we also have exclusive videos going up over there as well. You already follow Zeb Costa. Good on you. <laughs> then I'm telling you how to suck eggs here, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> We've barely had to repair any damage so far. What is going on? Oh, no. It's me. <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> Again. Yeah, 350 plus proofs of crashing in clips. Awesome, RX. Yes! My favourite mode in Dirt Rally 1. And it's even better this time. Right, Ron Paul for the semi-final. Can we keep our unbeaten streak intact? We won four out of four of the qualifying heats. Can we win the semi-final as well? Can I show you the Porsche? Yeah, I can, in a bit. Probably at the end of the stream, because I'm focusing on career mode, but... If we aren't able to buy it... Oh, oh Jesus. Um... If we aren't able to buy it, I'll do a quick run in, like, uh, time trial or something in it. Anyway, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Because we've started, and things are pretty hectic. We've just been sent by Michaela in the Renault, who was running second to us in the last heat. I wonder if he was just hanging back and just watching to see. Oh, my. Ah! No! Zielinski! You penis! No! Get out of the way! Oh, no, it's me! You will see the stream and wait for the... I'll send it! <laughs> Must look like Wallace and Wallace and Gummit there. Promise! it! Yo, penis! <laughs> Alright, let's joker it. Let's go. Speaking of struggling... Our Speedworks is here. Oh, God. Right behind Zelensky. Right, this was the pleb that tried spinning us down at the hairpin. You! You, sunshine. Oh, my God! Where am I going? I'm trying to do the other layout of that hairpin. How did I cut that corner? I just didn't, though. Oh, my God. Now we're behind the Force India. Ah! Oh, my God. This race is going off the charts. What is going on? This race has just exploded. Right, no more reading chatter until the end of this race. Shit just got real. Right, we're back up into... Jesus Christ! Maybe the AI heard my criticism about them being too easy. Because they ain't taking any shit in this race. But luckily, we've still got a few laps to go. Send it up the inside. There you go. Up the inside of... Um, totally not Sergio Perez there. Oh, God. Right, let's go up to Zielinski. We still need to get payback for that first corner. That first lap, Pontorino. I have a Sega Genesis? Yes, I do. Whee! Oh. Alright. Send it! Oh, God. Oh. Oh, he comes back on the inside. Oh, this is a good battle. That was Lance strolling along. Oh, very good. Alright, well, we're back in front of Zelensky. And they still have to Joker, so... I was just about to show off being like one-handed. 
one-handed power sliding and then I crashed. I'm going to be raggedy in this race. All right, come on, let's refocus. Also, we've after we spun down at the hairpin, the game judged that we'd corner cut. So I'm now a bit paranoid about corner. Oh Jesus! I'm a bit paranoid about corner cutting penalties. I'm also trying to do every alternate layout of this track, except the, the one we're supposed to be doing. Right, come on. Big final lap. Let's send this one home. Let's put it to bed. With a nice mug of hot cocoa and a bedtime story. And its favourite teddy. What I really do like about this game is that over Dirt Rally 1 is that I definitely feel like the more seat time I have in each car, the better I'm getting. I mean, that should that should go as self-explanatory, but where there's more feel in the wheel and more feel feedback through the tyres and things like that, I'm getting more to grips with the handling of each car and able to adjust to each one way easier than I was in the first game. So that's a big one for me. Five from five. Can we go six from six? What's my PlayStation ID? Uh, Johnson Capote, I think. Yes, Johnson Capote. When will you end the stream? I need to leave at 21.40 here. It's 19.02. I'm only going to be streaming for another hour, so... <laughs> that'll be it for you. So you, you'll be around until... If you want to stick around to the end of the stream, that's... You should have time to, basically. Drift tap. <laughs> Okie doke. We've won five from five so far in this event. Can we go six from six? There you go. Jason just put it in chatto. I will pretend to act totally surprised when I get a uh, random request on PSN. <laughs> Right. Oh, we do actually have damage to repair this time. Oh, quite a lot. <laughs> well, the last race was pretty insane. Uh, right. Are we ready? It's the grand final of the second round of the Club and Rallycross Championship. Our Blue Baru has been unbeaten so far in this event. Can we go six from six? Let's do it. Let's take a drink beforehand. Oh, it's me. I'm in this final as well. Twice. Yeah, that Subaru on the back row has the same name as me, IRL. Same driver name. So, uh, there's two of me in this race. If we finish first and last, it would just be like an AJ sandwich. Alright, here we go. Right, straight into the Joker. Let's just not fuck around here. Let's get... Oh, my God. Let's get this one out of the way early. And get stuck in, shall we? Oh! Do we send around the outside, fools? No, because I've been barged into my way. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> Ow! I'm now punting myself up the arse. I didn't like that. Sorry. Me, what are you doing? Sorry, me. Right, I'm now about to send on myself. Is the universe about to implode? I think so. Oh, oh I've sent on myself. And I've also decided to take the Joker. So, that's... Oh my god, what am I doing? That was a set. Flores is just like... The fuck, man? He was just peacefully minding his own business, about to take that corner all nice and normal, and then a Subaru just came sliding straight at him, facing completely the wrong way. He was just there, just like, okay. 
Okay. Ow! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Alright, we're okay. Top three has still got a Joker. Including Kokarev, who's trying to go two from two in finals wins. He won the first event, surviving our last lap, last corner send. Right, so Flores has taken the Joker. We're now right behind Kokarev. And Carlos, that was a Scotty attempt, it really was. <laughs> that was a failed Scotty. If you don't know what a Scotty is, folks, check up Scott McLaughlin on YouTube. He's a V8 supercar driver, he's my boy, and he's known for dive bombing the shit out of people. Including one part on Mark Wedderbottom where he was four wheels sideways. Power sliding into the corner. Right, we're up behind Kokarev. Oh, it was Michaela last time. Okay, so... Oh, Michaela's not even in this final. Okie doke. Let's get Kokarev, do you mind? Would you mind not being a cock, a rev? Right, oh, that's what I meant to do. Ow! There you go, that was a successful send. Up second. Oh! Woo right, so Carlos Munoz is up the road. Ow! Cones! <laughs> it wouldn't be me playing a sim racing game without me destroying every cone in the vicinity, really, would it? So my car was just making a funny noise there. It's not making it anymore. Oh, here we go. Munoz is in the Joker. And we are in the lead. Yes! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, he's right there. We've got to be careful. Okay, right. We've got a good lead. One more lap. With, without fucking... I said one more lap without fucking up. And we'll have swept the weekend. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Me and the Blue Baru. The Ikea Subaru, as it was nicknamed earlier. Johnson Sandwich. Yeah, it is a Johnson Sandwich. I'm last. And I'm also first. Because of uh, reasons. Alright, come on. Two corners to go. One corner. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> and a big old ramp jump. Way! There you go. Yeah! Swept the weekend. Six from six. That was, in the words of the great Harrison 101, hashtag beat him down. Hell yeah. And we're at the top of the championship, I think. Are we? Uh, yes, we are. Atop the championship standings by four, five, uh, five points. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was nice and relaxing. <laughs> After the Argentina rally. Holy crap, that was something else. All right, more prize money. Much needed. Much appreciated. Oh, engine mapping 02. Research complete. You make it. Does anyone think of, like, whenever someone mentions, like, research, just, like, people in lab coats? It's like, you make it. Where we have studied the, the optimal engine mapping. Right, so... <sighs> oh, you got DQ'd in the semis, didn't they? Right, we shall do... We'll bounce back over to Rally. We can do a... Um, uh, that's H1, H2, R5, H2, R5, H2. Okie doke. Uh, right, so... Oh, Jason! Look what the next Rally is! <laughs> oh, we got a lot of repairs. A lo oh, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Upgrades. 82k... Yes, let's do that. There we go. Can we now afford repairs? Is the, yes, we can. Good. Oh my god, critical damage to the springs. Oh, to the lights. Yeah, obviously. Right, so we've got 4,800 quid going into this round. It's not quite as little 
as we did going into the first rallycross race, but we might have to try and avoid... Oh, no, it's Poland, isn't it? Oh, we're starting on an 8.3-mile stage. For context, those of you that weren't here last night, you know how Rally Finland is the famous one for, like, fast-flowing country roads and big jumps and everything? Yeah, it turns out Rally Poland is coming for that crown. It was the... It was the brown smear rally last night. Holy crap. Go straight from Argentina to this. Is this game trying to kill me? Is it now? And it's raining. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right. Let's dive into the first stage. See how we roll. Not literally. Poland. <laughs> Is that Poland or Poland? Oh my god. Well, there's your context. That's an 8.3 mile stage, and the fastest time so far is an 8 minute 20 time. Okay, let's have a quick look at our car. Oh, it is beautiful. Look at it there. Five, four, three, two, one. This is the total contrast to Argentina. Argentina was full of nattery tight hairpin corners. Whereas, as you can see, we're already at top speed. We're already at top speed. <laughs> oh my god. So, for context, this rally was terrifying in a 115 horsepower Fulvia. We're now in a 350 horsepower Integrale. Help! Okay, the hairpin's down here. Okay, nice easy hairpin. I can do that. 50! 50's in Chateau. Definitely going to be quiet during this rally, but we're up by 1.1. Oh, good start. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big slide. I wasn't expected to pull the car back in like that. Here it is. Opens. 30. Middle of a jump. I'll have to compare the average speeds of this rally compared to Argentina. Argentina, it felt like the average speed was like 12 miles an hour. This, it's 212. Oh, God. We're only 7 tenths up. The AI have definitely stepped up in the rally. Rally discipline. Also not helping is the fact that it is raining. Oh, we're on the tarmac now. Oh, no! Oops. Oops. Where even is the road? We've speared so far off that... There it is. Right, no one saw that. We're good. We're good. Ignore the bowed out bonnet and the lack of... Oh, no, it's the chicane. I can't do these chicanes. No, oh, but I just did. Well, oh, nearly. There we go. We're good. Jason land. Oh, here's, here it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Okay, god damn, we need to adjust the brakes on this car. Um, There's the road. <laughs> I can barely see over the bonnet where it's so bowed up. Okay, come on, come on. Unbelievably, the lights are still working. Which is, you know, good. Right, we're now 10.4 seconds down on the... Uh, Everyone, which is understandable, but still got a long way in the stage to go. We can make that back. Ah! Why would you suddenly throw a random two right in there, stage? Why would you do that? That's just mean. Big jump, you say? Big jump. Jesus, that's a big jump. <sighs> Help! Press X to doubt, and then Y to poo self. Fifty. Fifty. Right, what's the gap now? Four. Fuck! We've lost another three seconds through not really doing anything. Well, God. 
slow, five left and turn three right. Opens of a crest, 30. Four left long of a crest, opens 100 of a jumps. Jumps, you say? Keep right of a jump, a tree, and keep left of a big jump. Jump! <laughs> my god, we were in space. Oh my god, we were in space. We're in the trees. Don't murder any fans. Um, may I rejoin the stage now? Yes, there we go. <sighs> oh god. We actually made up time during that section. Oh, hello. Is this a hairpin? Yeah, it is. 50. Oh god, it's another chicane. Help. I think I actually banged the rear end on the uh, chicane on the exit there. Actually helped the turn. I only fly like a bird. I'm like a bird. I don't know fly away! <laughs> Yeah, we maybe need to find an issue, find a solution to the locking brakes issue because uh, that's becoming an issue, shall we say? Oh god! I only lost a second during that section. I'm amazed. Given that I basically ploughed off and almost crashed into an ambulance. 50. 50. 50's in chateau. Oh no, bumps. Oh god. Oh, he's, Phil's talking about his penis again. Oh Jesus. Here's the four. 50. Fifty. Oh, we made up time there. We're finding some speed out here. We didn't fall off earlier. This would have been a really good stage. You know, those that one time. Or that two, those two times. Actually, no, those three times. Oh God! No! Come back! Yes! Yes! Meant to do that! Keep going! Come on, little car! <laughs> oh God! And there's the finish! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> After a frantic first stage, I'm okay with only being 11 seconds behind. Stage <laughs> finished. Look at the front end of my poor car. Taking an absolute battering. Poor thing. More jumps, please. Um, I'm I'm good with the current level of jumps. Okay, we're we're tenth fastest on the opening stage. <sighs> Fucking hell, the rally st rally mode is gonna kill me. Nikki with the Mar Marquez save. Yes, that's absolutely what it was. Holy shit! Ah, only a four mile stage this time. Much more palatable. Way more. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and it's only cloudy this time, so hopefully some dry running. Can't make any setup changes this time, can we? I'll be after the next stage. <laughs> Starts <at> six right. <laughs> Look at my poor car. There is literally not a body panel on it that's straight anymore. A battered afternoon. Five. Come on, car. Come on, Nikki. Six 
opens of a crest, 30. Left long of a crest. Opens 100 of a jumps. Keep right of a jump, a tree. And keep left of a big jump. Oh God's big jump. Brace yourself. Jesus Christ. I've always wondered what it would be like to be Felix Baumgartner. I think I just found out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. One right. Oh, tarmac now. 50. Oh god, it's the chicane. It's the chicanes of terror. One right exit. Six left, three hundred. Right. Turn unseen, square left. Fifty. Fifty. Right. Let's not do what we did on the last stage. There we go. That's how you do that turn. Is this just the second half of the last stage? I suspect it might be. Go no, four left now. Oh, oh, oh. Stay in there. There we go. Time back. 40, four left of a crest. 50. 50. 50's in Chateau. It is six left long. 100 of a bumps. Six right. Extra, extra long. Upwards of a jump. 50. Jump, you say? Yeah, that thing. That's a jump. That's a fence. Oh, that's trees. Fifty. Six right. Extra, extra long. Into six left. Into six right. Into five. Left. We're up. Extra, Hello. Extra right, let's keep see if we can keep it together this time. Into six right. Into six left. Extra long. One hundred. See if we can avoid flipping this time. Six left. Not again! Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, uh, hate everything. Hate the world. Hate Poland. Stupid country. Hate that sign. <laughs> hate this sign. Hate that banner. Hate this. Hate everything. I hate the world. I hate that stop sign. I hate you. You all suck. <laughs> How did the car feel in Bollocks. Stage? I hate the car. Do you want to make I hate you. Changes at the next I hate service. your mom. <laughs> <sighs> right. I think some setup changes are needed. <laughs> it's that brake issue mainly. It's just the amount of times you come into a fast turn and you need to break and it just goes, just slides, just locks everything and just fucks off into a tree. I'm like, no, I just want a little bit of braking. I think if it's locking a lot, that might be a, probably a brake issue. Oh, fuck. The next stage is heavy rain as well. Jason! <laughs> will we lose our kids on the next stage? Absolutely, we will. <sighs> right, okay. Some setup changes are needed. Once we, you know, fix the car and everything. There we go. Oh my god, we've just spent all our money. Oh Jesus. We're back to where we were before. Alright, brakes. High brake strength. Right, back there. Front bias brakes. Let's bring it back to... Uh, 
Too much bias on either axle can cause the wheels to lock. Okay, let's leave the brake pressure where it is. All right, let's bring that down a little bit, shall we? Have it a bit more even. Is there anything to help with the... Uh, straight like main juice understeer. Bring that down just a tiny bit. Get it turning a little bit better. And otherwise... Oh, tyres. Ah. Well, we've got new medium tyres if we want them. These ones are very much used. Let's fit them. Spare tyres, we have one. Do we risk... No, I'm not risking no spare tyres. Fuck that. Oh, my God. God. Six right opens long of a crest to slow tarmac. 15. It's Poland in the pissing rain at night. Well, it's been nice knowing you all because this is where I die. Oh, I cannot see shit. I cannot see balls. Oh my god. Uh, two right, did you say? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's this, the sort of. Oh, we're back on our Argentina strats. Spamming the handbrake. Whoop. Fifty. You did say slow, didn't you? Turn left, did you say? Yep. I'm grateful that so far this isn't actually been too much of a flat-out stage. It's been a bit more twisty because I almost don't want to be going flat out where I can barely see about three feet in front of me. In the pouring rain. I'd much rather survive this stage than uh, try and go fast. Oh my god! Well, just at the moment we did twat into a rock. I realised we're nine seconds in the lead. I'm not entirely sure how that's happened. But maybe those setup changes plus the new tyres have worked. We're going to need them to keep working though. A lot. Just seeing how close behind the class leader is. Come on. Four left long, did he say? Yep, he did. And it's a jump there. We're going so slowly, it's not a, it's not a jump anymore. Oh bollocks! I knew that was going to happen. As soon as he said jump, and then four right, I was like, oh no! They've done that really mean thing of putting a jump right before a. Fucking corner. Well, I say putting it there. This is just these are real roads. It's, Dirt four had a nasty habit of that, where it would have randomly generated stages. It would keep putting jumps right before hairpins. I'm like, game, you're just being a dick. Sorry, I can't slow down in midair. Oh no 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 no! Come on! Come on! Go 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 go! Oh god! Where am I going? You literally cannot see shit. We're still leading, unbelievably. I lost four seconds in that sector, but that's fine. I cannot, I cannot see dick. I repeat, I cannot see dick all right now. Driving basically blind right now. Higher. Thought I'd just say hello to the fans. You say turn left here. Back on dirt. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, bollocks! Uh. Into 
six left. Into don't get to quite like the Oh now we got no lights. I said earlier about this game being the Dark Souls of sim racing. Yeah, that. I cannot see shit. You cannot see dick. for that. 20 fuck. <sighs> How did the car feel in that stage? Do you want to make any setup changes at the next service? Uh I don't know, I just don't want it to be night and pissing down with rain anymore. Please. Please no more. Please no rain arena. Please no more rain arena and dark arena. Especially as I broke the broke the lights on the last stage. <sighs> right, four point two miles. What time is it? Two o'clock in the afternoon. Good. Dry. Good. Thank the based Jesus. <laughs> So that's two rallies in a row now where the third stage has been an absolute motherfucker. <sighs> that seems to be a running theme now. Right. Come on, Nicky. We can do this. Six left. Extra long. We're back in the daytime. Back in the dry. Alright. And we have time to make up. A lot. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Six left. Extra long. Opens over crests. Thirty. It's nice being able to see where I'm going again. Do you know, I much prefer this rally in the day when I can see where I'm going. Oh, God. The brakes do feel better. And it feels like it's turning a little better. I mean, I really didn't have a chance to even think about the setup change on the last stage. So I was too busy being like, yes, let me just do 80 miles an hour down narrow country roads where I cannot see a thing. Might as well put a blindfold. Put a sack over my head for all the good it did. And I'm leading the stage. Come on, let's not fuck this one up. Whoa. Oh. oh, it is breaking a lot better. Oh, God. Where's the turn? Here it is. Not very good, but we'll take it. We're back on the dirt now. Still leading though, for now. Oh God! Oh, we were. Come on. Say caution slow. He did. It's turning better and it's braking better, so the car overall is better. We just didn't really have a chance to find that out on the last stage. 
because, you know, we were kind of distracted by trying to do rally as if we were a bat. Should have attached like a sonar to the front of the car. 50. 50's in chat. Oh. Oh. Still, we're making bank. Come on, let's bring this one home. Come on. Crest, hairpin left. Exactly the wrong moment to count steer to the left. Maximum speed! And there's the finish. Oh, that's a sign. That's a tree. But it didn't matter. We crashed off to the finish line. And there we go. That should be enough for a stage win. That's the way to bring it back. That's the way to bring it back. Oh boy it is. Oh man. Oh, I'll take that back up to ninth. And we are exactly a minute three behind the overall leader. <sighs> After the nightmare of the last stage, I will more than take that. I don't even want to know how far behind we were at the end of the last stage, how much time we lost. Quite frankly, a miserable experience. But we have two more stages. No money whatsoever to fix the car, which... Oh, no, it's another night stage. It's another night stage. Help. But it's not raining this time. But we might not have money to fix the lights. The definition of swings and roundabouts, I think you'll agree. Uh, can we, like, bodge the lights? We've got 540 quid. We can't fix anything. We can't fix anything. We can't fix anything. <sighs> Game, don't take the piss. You know full well why I haven't repaired my car. It's because I'm broke. And flat left of a crest. Good luck. Because for some reason I had to pay 85,000 quid Five. just to be able to edit the setup on this car. Anyway, let's go. We've got to nurse this car through two more stages. Isn't this supposed to be four in the morning? We must be here during summer. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> we might get away with having no lights. Will we get away with me having no talent though? Asking the big questions here. Six right of a crest, 50. Get away with it so far. Slow. Six left, 30. Turn heaven right around bears. Oh. And 50. 50. Six left. Opens 30. We're ahead of the class leader at the moment. Left. For the moment. Oh, oh, we are in the lead. Okay. Okay, come on, Nicky. The struggling cash strap team can barely afford parts and repair for their own cars. This team is hanging together. The ultimate underdog story. This car that's just battered and broken with no lights. It's parched. It's exhausted. It's bruised. And yet still, still giving it, still giving it everything. It's these sort of arduous times where you kind of fall in love with the car a little bit. And that's definitely what's happening here. It's come back to us. It's got better after the setup changes. It just wants to go fast. It just wants to keep going. We're going faster. Right, let's focus. Now's not the time to wax lyrical. We can do that at the end of the stage. Oh, we're on the tarmac. Bollocks. It was way too late of a call, Phil. Chicane, 
That was way too late. I swear he called that hairpin left when we were already supposed to be braking. Fuck, we lost the lead. Never mind. Remember this turn. How are we still in the lead of this stage? I haven't the faintest idea, but I'll take it. Warn me, warn me about that one in time, Phil. Good on you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Fifty. Fifty's in chat. Six right long. Opens over crest to keep middle of a crest into six right. Extra long over finish. Yes! We won the stage. Fuck yeah. Well, we're fastest of the people who've already been. How did the car feel in that? Pretty good. Do you want to make any setup changes at the next service? I'm still here. It's the Porsche almost. Yeah, one more stage and then we'll uh, give the Porsche a run for you. Oh, man. Given the amount of punishment our car has taken and the fact that we couldn't afford to do any repairs, there was literally bailiffs surrounding our trucks at the last service area. I'll take that. Oh, seventh place in the end. 10 seconds behind the leader, but only three seconds behind second. Well, I'll take that. We're ninth overall going into the final stage. Man, it's been another punishing rally, seriously. Holy shit. Right, what have we got? 4.37 miles. Pray we don't get night. 16, 12 in the afternoon. That should be day. And it's cloudy. Good. Okay. We should... Should be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, excuse me. Right. One more stage and then we'll end with a little bit of exhibition showing off the Porsche. Starts flat left 50, turn 6 right of a crest, don't cut. Good luck. I've already forgotten what you said, Phil. <laughs> One more time of feeling, Nicky. Let's go. Oh, it is pretty dark, though. At least it's not, ra at least it's not remain uh, remaining. Oh, God. Uh, raining. I made a Brexit joke without even realising. You make it. Six right. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Should have brought me night vision goggles for this event. Oh, hang on. Have the lights started working again? Did the lights just start working again? I swear the lights just came on. Oh my god. Have we jolted the lights into working again? Oh my god, Nikki, you legend. <laughs> this car has revived itself. It healed itself. It's like Liquid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3. Sat down in between stages, snapped a splint, patched itself up, bandaged itself up. Of a crest, gravel, 
is of a jump into five left over crest. Track is very long into six right, 15. Four right, extra long, opens flat of a crest into six left. Into six right, into caution, five left of a jump, 15. Oh, bollocks. No, no, no. We're, we're good. We're good. We've survived. Just. That was just about the right time to warn me of that one, Phil. Well done. Made up for your gaff on the last stage. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is new. And it's very dark. Please, self-fixed lights. Oh, fuck. Please, self-fixed lights. Live. Please live. God, is, is the hood flapping up? The bonnet's flapping. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Finish strong. Again, good warning on that one, Phil. He's making up for the last stage, definitely. Four left, extra, extra long, Titans turn. Five left, opens 80. Four left and bail, dot cut. 30, turn unseen, two left around bail, cobbles. Don't cut three right, three left, and one right tightens around bail cobbles. There's this farm section. Right, don't cut two left. Forty, turn two left around bail tarmac. One hundred and sixty, over finish. Fifty, to stop. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck man, we made it. We made it. Do you want to make any setup changes at the next service? We're not gonna have another service. Fourth on the final stage, our best performance. Fuck man. Those top two are in another level, but fuck. We're only five tenths off of uh third on that stage too. We got seventh. So that's two consecutive seventh place finishes to start the championship. I give it how fucking tough some of the stages in those rallies have been. I Gee, I'll take it. Holy crap, will I take it. Oh, mate. <laughs> Card is quietly ticking over it to itself. <sighs> nice. Nice. I'm the best of the WRC 1.5s. An expensive hobby. What's that? Be unable to afford any repairs on a rally. <laughs> That's what that trophy's for. Right. For the benefit of Zeeb Costa, we will end tonight's stream, the end of the epic triple header, the rare triple header strat of, uh, I've, I'm lost for words, um, custom or time trial, time trial. In time trial. The objective is to set the fastest time possible at any given location across shared conditions. No, is it? Your results will be displayed on the leaderboards where you can compare your times to those of your friends and the wider community. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. All right, New Zealand. Ah, let's do Spain. Spain was my favourite from the first stage. Uh, let's do a nice old long stage, shall we? To really show off the Porsche. All right, where is it? Where is it? Right. Oh. But where the Porsche? 
Oh no! There's no Porsche! What is this? Oh, balls! There's no Porsche! It is in this category, isn't it? I've not missed something, have I? No, I don't think I've missed anything. Oh no! There's no, there's no Porsche! <laughs> Cam is offended. There's the Camaro, there's the Aston Martin. There's the Ford. But no Porsche! That's disrespectful, that's disgusting. Maybe it doesn't unlock until near a release. Maybe it's in the deluxe edition or something. Use the Mustang or the Ford. Okie doke. Use the Camaro. Okay. Okie dokie. If you insist. Alright. Mustang. Mustang is the most horsepower. But the Camaro is lighter. Oh, Some nice liveries on it. Oh, Bright blue. Yes. Bright blue. It's quite close to the uh, channel colour. And it matches the uh, blue brew. Alright, so I've picked an 8.9 mile tarmac stage to end tonight's stream. We're doing an exhibition time trial, testing out the Camaro GT4. Seriously, who thought it was a good idea to rally a muscle car? I want to know their name because it's not really the idea I'd be thinking of. PS4 Pro, no regular PS4. Duffy Boy 211. Oh, we can hear some clanking and tinkering with our car. The lovely climbs of Spain. Right, tyres. Why were we on wet tyres? Frame rate, very solid so far. I've not really noticed any dips. Right, there's our Camaro. We ready? To start the final stage of the final stream of Dirt Rally 2.0 pre-release week. Let's do it. And we're in a Camaro, boy. Oh, God. Look at that. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my penis. Right, oh, I'm, so, I'm so erect. Into three right long, opens oh, my God. Whose idea was it to rally in muscle car because I want to give them a big sloppy kiss? Oh my god, the Drifty! The, the Drifty is real though! Oh, oh my penis. Oh, my penis. <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> Oh no Oh no This is the greatest idea anyone has ever had Ow J turn! I'm like in a 70s cop show, innit? Doing a J turn in a muscle car. We just need some, like, funk music now. Oh god, and my co drivers have an afro. The brakes are very good. Yeah, the brakes are. Oh my god! The brakes are actually really good, which helps. And because it's obviously a real drive muscle car boy, it just wants to power slide. 50! Oh god, oh, ow! Ay, ay, ay. Um, ow. That isn't quite how you signpost the route, is it, Phil? But, never mind. 
opens long, tightens past junction, five left, opens extra long, into four right long, 50, 50. six left long, opens 100, five right, oh my extra, god this is extra long, brilliant, this is absolutely brilliant, and six left, extra, extra I'll tell you what it's like, this is like the first time you drive, like, this is like the first time you drive an LMP1 in Gran Turismo, or the, no, more appropriately, this is like the first time you drive the, um, the Red Bull X2010. I mean, it's not as fast, but it's that same level of, fuck, this is like, nothing I've ever driven in this game before. It warps you. It warps your reactions. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. No disrespect to Cam, mostly. I'm so glad we didn't get the Porsche. Because then I wouldn't have experienced this. Oops. Oh, failed power slide there. That's more like it. Into six left long, three hundred. <sighs> well, fuck you too. Turn unseen, heavy left. Fifty. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we're just gonna do a Ken block. Let's do donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Fans are cheering. They love it. Just randomly doing donuts in the middle of the stage. Oh. 50. Four left. 30. <sighs> Three right. Like, Cam, I'm sure the Porsche is amazing too. But I'm so happy we got to drive this instead. You could probably guess what car we might have in the future in career mode. This or the Mustang, just to annoy Chris. As it stands, Chris is going to regret missing the final part of the stream. Oh my god, this is so... It shouldn't work, but it does. It just does. I'm still not sure if I'd want to drive this in like Argentina, or on the really loose gravel, but here, right here, right now, on these Spanish roads... Oh. Holy cow, it's fun. God, I fucking love this game. Oh, man. Oh, God. This is like... I'll tell you what this is like. This, what I'm doing right now, is like that scene in Pulp Fiction where Uma Thurman's overdosing. And she's tripping out, and they have to slam that hypodermic needle into her chest. It's that feeling. It's the hypodermic needle. It's the feeling of being co on cocaine and then slamming a hypodermic needle in. Without, you know, having to spend money on cocaine, and then risking death, and then having to have a hypodermic needle stabbed into your chest by John Travolta. That's my review of this game. It's like a cocaine binge in a hypodermic needle. Except you don't have to pay for any drugs. And you don't need a needle slammed into your chest by John Travolta. That's my review of this game, folks. And I think it's accurate. Oh. It's so... It's... Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Everything about this. Oh, look at this bit. This is prime Driftu country. Oh, yeah. Three left tightens. 
slow, four left, into four right, upwards of a bridge, tightens three, and six right, 50. Five oh, left, God. Long, this is just magic. This is so... God, this is... <laughs> oh. I think the car works because the physics in this game give you so much feedback through the wheel. Way more than Dirt 1. Uh, Dirt Rally 1, I should say. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> it wouldn't be the finale to this stream if we didn't fall. If we didn't fall off a cliff. Time some epic driftage through the seal. Oops. <laughs> Having to do the Austin Powers. Oh, let's just light up the rear wheels. Oh, there we go. To <laughs> stop. Oh my God. <sighs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh, no one's done the time trial yet. <laughs> Screen grab that. I'm number one in the world, bitches. <laughs> well, that will well and truly end it there. I think it's worth it. I'll buy it tomorrow on Instant Gaming. Yes. Go for it, Zeep. I'm not normally one for pre-ordering, but I can tell you, having played this game right now, it's only going to get better as well. They've got, uh, I think they've got a day one patch ready to go as well to fix any, some of the, tweak some little things. Um, not sure what, but... Holy fuck. This is so fun. Well, that was fucking awesome. <sighs> yeah, it was. What a fucking week. Seriously. Nine and a half, nearly ten hours of <laughs> Dirt Rally 2.0 streams on back-to-back-to-back -back -back nights. And every single night, you lot have showed out. Hopefully they tweaked that default steering setting. Yes. I don't know if it was just me that couldn't get on with that setting, but it seemed weirdly too high for me. I'll be interested to see if other guys, especially folks like Jimmer and Super GT, have um, had to do that as well. Had to tweak the saturation setting, because for me, it was borderline undrivable. But uh, ever since I fixed that in the first stream, fuck, it's just been off to the races, pun intended. But seriously, you've been fucking rad. This game's been fucking rad. I can only imagine that people that don't know much about that would dislike the game just for that. Yeah, exactly. That was a problem, especially with the likes of um, Project Cars. Uh, Need for Speed Shift and Shift 2 Unleashed. De <laughs> Black and Mold showing up now, just as we're wrapping up. Um, yeah, that was definitely an issue with like Project Cars 1 and uh, Need for Speed Shift and Shift 2 uh, Unleashed. The default wheel settings were so bad that it put people off the game. Um... I would imagine a uh, Zeeb Costa, it's like 40, 45 quid, uh, like full price release. Um, not sure about the deluxe edition, maybe a little bit more. Um, but hopefully they fix that, because at the moment, that and maybe the easy AI, uh, <laughs> and the, the random thing where you have to pay a lot of money to unlock the ability to edit the setup of your car, don't like that. I like all the other mechanics, like having to pay for damages and stuff to your car, that's fine. Paying for other unlockables. That's great. Oh, how much disk space is it? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I want to say it's about 33 gig. I think it's about 33 gig. Might be more than that. Um, but yeah, I think about 33 gig. So, oh man. Honestly, I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost for words after this week. This has been fucking amazing. Um... The game, I've fallen hopelessly in love with the game. I'll have a full review uh, up on my blog, ajv1.com, hopefully on Friday. Um, <sighs> thank you, Cody's, for uh, giving me the chance to to play this game. This and F1 2018 back-to-back. -back. It's so lovely. Like, I often feel a bit weird. Like, I've, the last few days, I've been joking in our Discord. I'm like, oh, no, I'm streaming at the same time as Jimmer and Super GT and, and Arav and TMF. Have Arav and TMF Marduk been playing this game? I assume they have. Um, but, like, I often feel a bit weird. Act Troll Vision's been streaming this, I know. And I feel a bit like like I've somehow stumbled in on a party I was, wasn't really invited to. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to sit in the corner and, and leave. 
But to have everyone dropping by, everyone who's dropped by the last few days, there's been so many of them. We've had new subscribers, which has been amazing. All of you who have turned up for the first time in the last few days, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you stick around. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And um, to the regulars, thank you for making this chat so fucking fun every time we do this. Every single time we do this. It's been lively as fuck. Love you all. You're great. And uh, there's some victory donuts. There's some celebratory donuts to finish the stream. <sighs> That'll be it for tonight's Armbar Arcade Complete Dirt Rally 2.0 Part 3. No more Dirt Rally this week. <laughs> I need a break. Also, shout out to my parents for uh, being so patient. I, I appreciate that it's they just want to relax at this time of night and they've got me shouting like a twat and hogging the internet bandwidth at this time of night. Three nights in the row, but shout out to them for being legends. Shout out to this game for being awesome so far. Shout out for you guys for making streaming so much fucking fun. And uh, I'm going to pour myself a beer now. Just, I feel like it's appropriate now. I kind of need it. Especially after that Argentina rally earlier. Jesus. So, we'll be back on YouTube on Friday. We've got a Bad Games Beatdown video for you. And um, it's the greatest Bad Games Beatdown video we've ever done. No uh, no clues other than that, but you don't want to miss it, trust me. Uh... Hey, Actual Vi Hello, Actual Vision! What? That... Oh my god. What? <laughs> I've lit I literally just mentioned Actual Vision a moment ago, and he's just shown up in Chato. Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> what a way to end the stream. Mm. Oh man. Oh. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, what a way to end the stream. Hello, Actual Vision. And he's followed. Hello. How you doing, man? Oh, what a way to end three nights of streaming this game. But yeah, we'll be back on Friday on the YouTubes. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Armbar Arcade. Hello, Actual Vision. Good to have you along. Um, that's really cool. Um, I was... I actually raced Actual Vision on F1 2018, like, casual lobby sometime. And, uh... It was mostly just me watching him in the distance while playing other, like, open lobby players. But, mm, that's capped it off, man. Whew. <laughs> I definitely need a beer and a lie down. Nine, nearly ten hours of streaming over the last few days. But, um, thank you guys so much for all hanging out. Um, Ace came at, oh, it really is, mate. It is so good so far. I hope, I'm glad you've been enjoying it as well. But, uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up. I'm going to go have a beer and probably a cold shower. And sleep. Not all at the same time, obviously. That would um, present logistical issues. Um, meantime, if you have not already, please do uh, follow this channel. Um, follow this Twitch channel to be notified when we're going live next. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If you also want to tip down there, go for it if you want. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, youtube.com forward slash armbar arcade. We'll have a new video up on Friday and then we'll be back on Dirt Rally next Monday. Meantime, see you all guys next time in the Armbar Arcade.